starting off a video not walking out of the garage door? What is going on? But today is the day that I finally showcase this engine harness that I received from Wildworks a week ago. And I also bought a conversion harness too. And I think for the most part, this was the most expensive thing I bought for the K-Swap. No, this wasn't free for all you haters that be like, oh, you just get handouts, la, 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 la. There's a fat old difference between getting handouts and putting in the work and then having companies be like, wow, this guy makes great videos. He will be a great, great part to our team. Let's let's reach out or let's let's work with him. Fat difference, B. I had to get that off my chest, you know what I'm saying? Huge shout out to my man Xavier over at Wireworks. That is the homie. I was talking to him, chatting it up about what I need done for an engine harness, and he was just so dope about everything. And well, here we have my engine harness. Let's get this unboxed and show you guys what all did get, please boy. Alright, here we go. Here we have my custom engine harness from Wireworks and here's my conversion harness and my ground kit along with charge cables, well charge harness. And over here we got the stickers, I love this type of sticker, I want to make my Marauder banners like that, like I love the die cut, two layered, I just love it. This is my first ever like mil spec tucked harness, so like I usually run like OBD2 GSR harnesses and have a bunch of wires but this is just like, it's everything's labeled, let me see if I can get it. Look at that, look at that, hold on, hold on, hold on. Focus, look at that, labeled playboy. Everything is labeled, and this, I'm so stoked, bro. This is just amazing, son. Oh, I can't wait. But we got Roberto, aka Bobbert, he just showed up. What's up, Bobbert? Pussy. Like Censored. my What happened? Censored. Oh, yeah. Look at my engine harness, bro. Shit, nice. This is actually is really nice. Facts, right? Super like Thin. Mill spec, bro. I think, I have no idea what mil spec is. I got the throttle cable in. Oh, uh, look how, bro, it's hella long. And look how I looped this. Is this the stock one or the- That's Randy's. That's Randy's? Yeah, because I can't use the stock one, it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit, it wouldn't fit. Oh, like- it had this to the left. Like, this right here, it's not enough of this. It wouldn't catch. I tried to do it before I even installed the Randy's on. Like, we press the gas, it fully opens and- Boy, mechanic. Boy's a throttle body guy now. If y'all need any throttle body help, we in a big body. I came to O'Reilly, got some brake clean, and got the hose that I need, and no tuck, man. Tuck, I miss you, bro. All right, uh, got the header over there ready to go on, but we're gonna do the engine harness first, and then we're gonna put the header on. And then from there, we're gonna bleed the clutch. I'm gonna start with the conversion harness, because, well, that's the most important thing to get that engine harness to work. We're gonna start with the conversion harness, and then work our way through the firewall, and out here to plug up everything. Finally get to utilize my K-Pro. Now we are stuck with figuring out the conversion harness. I have no idea what to do. I know that one plug into the ECU and I'm just showcasing you guys this in case you guys are confused on how to run your conversion harness. So basically we're gonna just do stuff till we find out. You gonna crack my damn seat. Uh, damn uh, your seat uh. Um, yeah. So that's the plan of action of what we gotta figure out how to make this stuff work. I grabbed the engine harness that was on the table, came over here to, you know, try to see what goes what. This is basically what all goes into the engine bay to your TPS, all the other good jazz. And then from right here, you have these three wires. This can plug into the conversion harness. These two can plug into your K-Pro. No, yeah, wait, yeah. These two plug into your K-Pro and then from your conversion harness itself, this white plug plugs into there. So all the ECU is plugged in. We just gotta figure out where that long cord from over, this long cord right here over there plugs into and then obviously fish this out there through the engine bay, depending on where I run the harness. But that's it, that's pretty much it for that. Just gotta figure out where this goes. All right, so from talking to Mr. Wireworks himself, we figured it out. I gotta wire that behind the fuse box that I do. It's not on the fuse box, it's just behind it. So these two pieces is what he's talking about. So when you're doing your conversion harness, um, if you get a Wireworks engine harness, I'm pretty sure any other uh, conversion harness will work as well. This the two pieces he's talking about. Uh, you wanna disconnect the gray one. I don't know if you guys can even see it. Disconnect the gray one and then plug in the conversion harness and then that step one is complete. I just, it's kind of sucks. You can't really get to it. Can you get to it, Kato? Huh? Don't look the lens, fool. Bobber got it in. I couldn't do it. And the process managed to ruin my thumb and my middle finger. God dang, dog. 
But uh, from there, we got that conversion harness in, and I think now it's just that goes to the ECU. That goes, th and this one right here is a uh, um, O2 sensor. All right, quick update: we figured it out. We got to splice um, these wires into this. The green and what the yellow, yellow and green one is your fuel pump. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. This is your fuel pump. This is your check engine light or maintenance light, or this one's your check engine light or maintenance light. Is your Okay, so this is the uh, check engine light, and then this is your service light or whatever. And then we gotta splice the ELD one, which is would be the green and what red, right? Uh, yeah. So this is the ELD sensor. Uh, well, green and red. This one right here. That plugged into somewhere. Well, we still own that right now. It's on the to... small plug. So it's on the last one, and, and it's top right plug. It's one of these. And it's green and oh, I found it. Green and red. It's at the store. Don't do that one. It's not that one. It's a bottom one. Yeah, last one right here. Yeah, you see it's on yeah. the bottom. Yep, that's it. Boom. So that's it. It's got the solder. Got all the thing I need. Now it's time to solder this up, and that's it. Work our way through the firewall and install this portion of the engine harness. And I got confirmation that my map sensor, no, my TBS sensor, was coming Friday. So. Dope. Didn't have heat shrink, so I just used some electrical tape and it never failed on me. So we're done for this. All we gotta do is attach those into the ECU and then we're done for the inside. So Robert had a brilliant idea. We're gonna just hook up everything that we can now um, and then we're gonna figure out where I'm going to tuck it, where I'm gonna route it. I was talking to Xavier, he, I could either run through the heater core, but that's why I'm doing the shifter cables. Uh, we actually made it through there, but then the header, I don't know if it's going to hit the header or anything. You could use stock location as well, but I'm trying to want to make it look tough, make it look cool, even though like the paint is pretty bad, but I'm trying to make it look cool. Problem is, I messaged Xavier because we couldn't get the injector clips to sit, the CKP sensors in the lineup. We have like a bunch of different harnesses that don't really work because, well, this harness is for a K20EG and I have a K24. Cause I did tell him I have a K24 running RDX injectors, so this harness will not work. Kind of screwed because I got a deadline with this guy and Randy and Mai to get tuned. And yeah, hopefully I can get a harness out. Hopefully. Ten days we gotta tune. Yep. I got, it's 10 days for me to get this car driving, tuning, and everything. Well, at least I got my stuff coming in the mail by Friday, so that's cool. But, yep, this is not going to work. This, uh, damn, maybe the conversion harness should work, though. That already worked in there. I just got to get the, just the engine harness that doesn't work. Everything else plugs in, the vehicle speed sensor, because that's a K20 train, so all that stuff over there obviously works. But when it comes to the 24, all the clips and stuff isn't working. So, CKP sensor, which is this. This doesn't plug in there. I guess the inside is different on the uh, sensor itself. That is great customer service, bro. Told him my problem that I had. We got a miscommunication. He thought I had a K20. He thought I was running stock injectors, but... I wasn't, but he's, look at that, bro. That's what you call customer service, son. Xavier's the dude, man. That's the dude. Our shop is now closed. Uh, today's report is Friday. Xavier from Wireworks coming down to help me redo the harness in a way where I get the right appropriate thing, or appropriate, the right correct thing to like plug into the stuff. Tomorrow I'll get my valve adjustment from Sean Skates, and then, so Friday hopefully will be the first start because I think I'll have my stuff from VMS and I'll have my TPS sensor. I have pretty much everything in. I think hybrid stuff comes tomorrow too because it shipped out Tuesday. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So hopefully everything comes Friday and then the following week, which is the 27th, is the day I go to tune. So it's the next day. Today is Thursday. It's like almost six o'clock now. My man Sean might come over and do a valve adjustment on the car and I went ahead and installed the header. Now I just gotta get another nut and some bolts to tighten that all the way down. And sad for me, I lost one of these washers that uh, Downstar had sent me. 
um, when I first got my downstar package. So now I only got five of these and six nuts. So I gotta find that one today. I've been looking for the past freaking bro. I've been looking all day for it, and it fell somewhere in the engine bay. I just have no idea. If you have great eyesight and notice this huge box where all of my stuff sitting on, this is shipment two of three from the hybrid racing. The stuff in this box is gonna make that drive. Everything's in there aside from my shifter. That's box three out of three. But everything's in here ready to go. I will be unboxing this tomorrow. So I'm just gonna wait for Sean and uh, continue the video. gets fixed because in 20 minutes Xavier from Wireworks will be here and I've been up since it's like 11 o'clock right now like 11 30 I've been up since 8 well no yeah I've been up since 8 but I started working on the car around 9 ish time and what I did so far was installed this uh, K20 thermostat housing um, yo if you have a K24 right if you have a K24, I highly recommend running the stock OEM K20 thermostat housing. I mean, you could get the uh, swivel thing, but you know, I'm not a baller and got 160 bucks to waste on that. So I just used the Randy's OEM one for the meantime. The reason why I gotta use this one is because this one points down for when you use a radiator, so it goes like that. The K24 points up and that kind of sucks. So when I put the radiator in again, it's gonna go down like boom like that, so it'd be actually ready to go. Uh, as far as the manifold while it's off the car, I had to put this back in because I was talking to Child Star. He helped me out tremendously. I tapped this. No, I didn't tap this. What did I tap? I tapped this one for block off. I tapped one and two to block those off so I can put like those little cool little um, like Allen head cap things or whatever. Like uh, something like this right here to block it off. Those Allen head caps. And yeah, so the manifold squared away for the most part. I just have to get these block offs and I also got to get a hose for that so that I can run to this right here. I should be going by JB's later today to get the uh, block off for this and then that should be situated. So that has been my morning. Now we just await for Mr. Wireworks himself and we'll continue productions on today's video. This is going to be like the longest video ever, bro. This is like four days of filming. Ridiculous. And I also want to give a big thank you to the homie Sean Skates for doing the uh, valve adjustment on the whip, man. Yo, that's my dude. That is my guy. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? That's good. Same old, same old. You already know. Yeah. <laughs> I already know, brother. <laughs> I already know. Well, this is it. All right. Could have had some friends today, Cotto. Could have had some friends. How was the drive? It wasn't bad. It wasn't that bad? I How? Mean, I usually. Like, I never really get to drive out anywhere, mm -hmm. so it's always kind of like a nice change when I have the ability to, you know what yeah, I mean? That's, that, I, I did not think you were actually gonna come. I like this, like, when you mentioned, I was like, what? I was like, holy, like, you can't beat that customer service, bro. Yeah. That is crazy. I mean, usually when it's, when it's all like local customers, like within local, I mean the whole entire state of Florida, mm -hmm. it's easy for us to, you know, go out there service. Usually I like to always kind of show face, that way you get to meet people, you know? Yeah, it's not like, and build well, those type of relationships. Yeah. It's like when you do see each other at the car show, it's kind of like, hey, what's up, bro? It's not just, you know, a yeah. car situation. I didn't even, like, I didn't even, like, I knew, um, like, I, I don't know, I think, maybe I, maybe I was nervous, but, um, <laughs> I, it was at Eibach, and my car was parked, uh, right by Mark's from Honda Street Garage. Okay, okay. Yeah, and, I, and then, uh, we were talking about, like, he was like, man, you should go K-Series, but I'm like, yeah, man, but, like, I don't know, man, cause I just knew from you, from, from Kevin. Yeah, so that's how I knew about you guys, cause, like, you guys did a switch panel, then he had the yeah, nice yeah, sticker, yeah, I was like, yeah. yo, I want that sticker on my, uh, windshield, yeah, so, yeah, like. We're actually working with some stuff for him now. Yeah, that thing is crazy, man. That was like, oh, so I just knew from the start, like, once I go, okay, I'm getting a Wireworks engine harness, bro. I want all my stuff to be Wireworks. I mean, but for the most part, we always say, you know, when it's local stuff, it's kind of really, uh, uh, what you might call it, easier for us to, to always build that kind of reputation. Yeah. And just in case Cause that's, that's really good, though. Like, it was really great. I was like, I was worried, bro. I was like, no, it doesn't work, bro. All done. 
took it like less than what the three minutes. Yeah, more. that's it, bro. Just having a good conversation and then just I'm done, bro. I'm like, what? <laughs> so it's already done. Pen out's ready to go. And then we yeah, are we're golden. Just gotta go pick up men and take manifold gas. You then wait for the TPS. Then wait for blah 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 blah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed meeting Xavier because I did. Yo, Xavier is the coolest dude in the business that I've met face to face, bro. Like the dude. Bro, humble, genuine, great, great dude, bro. Like, I can't, man, yo. If you need any engine harness for your Honda vehicle, bro, reach out to Wireworks, man. Reach out, bro. I think his stage zero harness, like the budget case swap harness, starts off at three fifty nine. I don't know if I got it on camera, but like, let's say like you had an issue where I had, where like I had a K twenty pin out for my K twenty four engine harness. He drove from Orlando, cause that's where his shop's located. He drove. From Orlando here for like 10 minutes, fixed it, was on his way back up to Orlando. And he said he does that for all the customers that's in Florida. So if you ever have an uh, issue with your harness or it's the wrong pin out when you ordered this or that, because mistakes happen and you get mixed up, he will come out, man. Like that right there to see the deal. I'm gonna always be a Wireworks customer just for the customer support itself, bro. No matter what car I get, if he can make some, I don't know, I'm gonna always be a Wireworks customer. and. I can't thank Xavier enough for coming out and getting the engine harness ready to be installed. Okay, so things didn't go as planned. I ended up going to O'Reilly and picking up a gasket set for both intake and exhaust because, well, it was only 20 bucks, so. But here we have um, the gasket I need. It's metal. I thought it was plastic, but this is actually metal. It's not a thermal gasket. I'll just wait to get a thermal, man. I'll just run that for the meantime. No big deal. And I picked up some OEM replacement NGK Iridiums because, well, those are... The OEM ones, I guess. Oh, this is the header gas. Ooh, God, this thing is flimsy, play boy. I only got a single layer. OEM got dual layer, boy. But whatever. And aside from that, I did uh, wrinkle black my uh, what cooling housing. I'll show you. Wow, bam! Check that out, boy. Look at the flakes, boy. Look at the flakes, boy. Ice, ice, ice. Yeah. Boy, clean. That boy is coldly. I mean, he's been out here for like two hours now. Should be pretty dry. Wow. Tight, son. That is tight. It's all in the details, fam. It's all in the details. And if you don't know, JB do sells the block off kit for this hose right here. Since I'm not running a heater core, this blocks that off right there. It goes something like this. This like this little elbow piece clamps down on that and then that bolt goes in that one and that just clamps it down. So Shout out to JB Tune. So if you need this, JB got you, bro. He got you. And voila, boy, it is in. Now this bracket piece right here goes like so. And that's it. You're done. Just take that boat out, put it over it, and that will keep it this thing from rising up and whatnot. So yeah, bro. Zosh is out here, man. Give me guys some knowledge just in case you want to go K-series, dog. I got you, bro. I got you, bro. So it is the next day from the last time you seen me of me saying. I don't know something about me being for the I don't know what I said. But a quick little update. Um, I am not gonna finish everything this video of the engine harness installed because I have a lot of stuff to do. Today is Saturday. I still you can't see it, but I still haven't opened up my hybrid racing package. I got my TPS in the mail, I got my VMS kit. I have to go out and buy a gasket for the TPS sensor. I got a block off for this, I got a block off for that. You can't even see it, but it's in there. And I just gotta get a block off for that. I got the harness ran through the heater core, I got the battery on fuse box, I got pretty much all this stuff done. Like I just want you guys to know this: the next video that I release after this video you're watching now would be a first startup video um bro like i'm gonna be real with you guys i've been stressing mad hard about everything lately like the content and like i hate to feel like i'm making bs video like Zosh, bro, just the haters i understand but like i take this stuff serious in a way of where like i want to make the best content that you got like every time you click on the zosh video you're gonna laugh you're gonna have a good time you're gonna watch the video through its entirety this video is, I think, like 17 minutes, maybe 20 minutes long, and I want you guys to sit down, relax with your girl, your man, family, dog, pets, side chick, you know what I'm saying? It, it, relax, watch this outro video, and be thoroughly enjoyed. So, like, I've been stressing because I haven't got so much stuff done. Like, these past two days has been, like, the roughest I've had with this whole K-Series thing because, like, I'm running out of money, and, like, I got to... It's rough, bro. Like, if I could tell you guys what's happening behind the scenes of the camera, like, it's rough. And I gotta get a grip and 
do everything. So I'm gonna end the video here so I can start filming for the hybrid racing uh, install of box two out of three. And then hopefully that same video get the car to start, which I already know it is because I'm not releasing a next video without the car starting or driving. Maybe you have a first start and first drive, same video. But um, yeah, that's definitely next. And I do want to say thank you for watching. If you're new to this channel, um, if you like what you see, then if you want to, please subscribe. It helps me out. I'm trying to reach 200,000 subscribers before Christmas because that would be the best gift you guys could ever get me. Because uh, then next year I'll buy my Evo. So, yeah, yeah. So hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. If you didn't dislike it, uh, catch you guys in the next one. I am out. Peace. Mm.